Hey Sagittarius, it's Zahara Stars with the Lim Astrology and Tarot doing your January 2020 tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm sending you positive energy for all the best, as always. So let's take a look and see. Please keep in mind that these are general readings. They will not resonate with all of you, okay? And if it doesn't resonate, check your rising sign or your moon sign for your messages might be there. Um... One thing that's really awesome for you guys, although you had your own ruler in your own sign, um, now it's in your second house of money and earned income and the money you make. Jupiter expands what it touches. So over the next year, you guys will be increasing your finances no matter what, because astrology knows the answers to that. All right, you guys, so let's take a look and see what January 2020 brings for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Please give me the most accurate messages for Sagittarius and what they can expect for January of 2020. Well, that was just not good. But perhaps, you know, it all happens for a reason. All right, you guys. Let's take a look. All right, well, you guys are coming out with the hangman, the nine of air being up in your head, the king of water. Some of you have been thinking about a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. You'd have to know their birth time. Um, or in January, you might be. You might be feeling like you don't know, like you don't know what's going on with this person it's definitely regarding a love offer we got the empress and the page of water and the emperor wow we got the emperor and the empress some of you found your soulmate or your twin flame or the perfect match for you you both might be business owners or you both are just really powerful personalities um know what you want go after what you want one sexy couple going on right here okay um, for some of you, this could be a mother and father, but I don't see that being the case because there's a page of water. There is a love offer or the universe bringing in a highly compatible person for you guys if you have not met this person already. Some of you might have been hung up on a water sign, and this very well could be a water sign person, but I do see a love offer coming through on that water sign. Um, and with the emperor and the empress. Okay. After this, we got the strength, the page of air, and the ten of air. I do see you guys a lot in your head thinking about a lot of things. I think you got a lot of things going on in your head. In terms of what you want to do, where you want to go, who you want to be with, what you, you know, whatever it is, there's just a lot of stuff I feel heavy on the mind. And some of you have been waiting for some communication from a water sign is what I see. Others of you, or even if you're waiting on communication of this water sign, and this happens to be the water sign person, um, this could be an Aries, okay? Or it can just be, like I said, anybody who is has a powerful persona, somebody that's take charge, could be somebody that's a business owner, okay? Um, somebody in the military, somebody powerful. And, and, and even if they're not powerful as far as where they are in the world, they have leadership qualities about them, okay? And it appears that you both are this way. So some of you are gonna meet this person after the new year that is like a perfect match for you and others of you are holding on to a water sign person that you're kind of, you're not sure where it's going and they've been on your mind a lot, okay? And you've been really mustering the courage and, and everything you have to kind of hang in there and wait for communication from this person is what I'm seeing. All right, we got temptation in reverse. We got the Queen of Fire, which could be you, Sagittarius, and the Five of Earth. So I see some of you, okay, 
you let go of something that was toxic, not working for you, not healthy for you. Something was wrong with the situation, perhaps with another fire sign, or it could also be with another water sign. Okay. And you felt like you were just left in the cold from this person or that you just, you, you did wait. I see waiting or having courage waiting for somebody to contact you and then feeling like you're not getting what you want out of this person. Feeling like you're alone in this situation. We're going to get clear clarity on the rest of this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We've got the three of air, the queen of water. And the six of air in reverse. So some of you do have a water sign person coming back to you. Okay. We got the six of air in reverse. And it was definitely something that hurt you. It was a heartbreak, a betrayal of some sort. Um, and for some of you, it was something toxic. Okay. Um, toxic, unhealthy in some way, shape, or form. Whatever it was. Whether it's bad treatment, poor treatment, ghosting you. Um... It's just, it's really left you in a place where you, you, you were in a, in a heavy duty mindset here of just thinking about everything over the situation. Okay. But I do see, and, and it left you in heartache. Okay. It was a betrayal of some sort. Now, if this was a friend, a family member or something like that as well, it could be where you were betrayed and there was something unhealthy, um, I do see this person coming back. Yep, definitely coming back. Um, for some of you, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I see Aries, or I just see also somebody very strong and powerful. This could all be the same person because this is a general reading for all of you, and you're all involved in different situations. But let me get some clarity on some of these situations here. I do see a Leo Sagittarius or Aries also. Sorry, I see the Queen of Fire here. And a Cancer with the Chariot. Let's see what we got here. On this King of Water. All right, so this King of Water, it could be a Queen of Water, okay, that you've been stuck about, or they have been in their head and thinking a lot about you is what I'm getting. Because I see them having a new perspective. Now, these roles can be reversed, okay? This could be you feeling like this about this water sign person. Um, but it feels like time just is passing by or you want to you you've been reflecting on this connection okay or they have been with you and they have a new perspective now about the situation I'll have to get more on that to see what that means or to see what their perspective is but on this emperor empress person yeah this is a wish coming true and that's what I was feeling for some of you those of you that are single and ready to mingle 
you're going to get a new love offer or an opportunity for somebody that is the perfect match for you because this is fairy rings, which is making your dreams come true and the emergence, somebody coming out of of nowhere pretty much, or maybe you already know this person for some of you and you're already hooked up with this person, okay? But this is a really good person, a really good match for you that's coming in for some of you, okay? Yep. And we got communion, which is a spiritual connection with as above, so below. It's divine. It's planned. It's divine timing. Oh, my goodness. Divine timing of this perfect match, the emperor and the empress coming in here for you guys. Okay, so if you guys already met this person, you will know. But if you haven't, this person is coming in for a lot of you. Those of you that are in regret, sorrow, or, or sadness about a water sign person, because I did see another water sign person down here as well, the queen and the king of water. Um, yeah, see, there's a rebirth, and they're going to come and be an open book with you and express the way they feel, okay? Because we got that on the queen, and on the king, we got memories and going through and remembering everything and having a new perspective as a result of that time spent in their head. This could be you guys, too, about a water sign, and then on the strength in the page of air and the 10 of air, we got stillness and dream catcher, which is, again, kind of like reviewing everything in the stillness, which we got with the strength and the 10 of air, thinking about everything, thinking about everything, wanting to communicate, okay? But having the cur or the strength not to is what I feel like one of you has been doing. You've not been making that move to communicate. Okay, whether it's just waiting for the other or, or whatnot with this water sign person. On the three of air, see, we got mystical changeling and power lightning. There's been revelations, realizations, and changes occurring as a result of this heartache on both of you with this water sign person. Now, keep in mind, it can be a fire sign person too because we got the queen of fire. And it could also be... A Scorpio Cancer or Pisces of what I'm seeing and also a Leo is possible, but we got the fire sign. Um, but there's a rebirth and a new, an open book coming through here on this queen of water, wanting to start over and be more communicative and open and about their, about their feelings because there was some sort of revelation and change as a result of this heartache and heartbreak, if one of you left this other person or you walked away from them and they walked away from you and now there's a change through the time of spending time alone in their head or you in your head and I see a lot of in your head stuff right here, okay? Definitely a lot of in your head stuff, okay? But one of you left and moved away because it was not working out or was too much drama or was stressing you out or, or something of that nature and now they want to come back or you want to go back to them. Now it could be absolutely mutual because on the chariot of taking action, it's going to be sudden. Okay. But it's going to unfold and they're going to come towards you. Okay. Some of you might be traveling to this person or they could be traveling to you, but nonetheless, this is, this is triumph. Okay. This is winning coming to, and it's also going straight for what you want. And along with combustion and unfoldment, it's like they're chomping at the bit to reconnect with you or you them. Now on this fire sign, the temptation, the toxic situation, and these could be separate people, you guys, okay? There's, there's fire signs, there's water signs, but there's multiple people here, so you got to see which one fits you. If you were involved with the fire sign that was toxic... Sun, moon, or rising, meaning they could be an air sign with a fire moon or a rising moon. So this person is just somebody very, very sexy, very attractive, very charismatic, very direct. You know, they're fire. They're fire like you, Sag. This could be you that was left in the cold and found out about something toxic. We got the wild and free wind sprite and a promise. So this is somebody that was definitely wild and free. Okay. They had some kind of toxic behavioral patterns and this could be an array of different types of things okay toxicity is in, in all different levels it could be any type of addiction whether it's sexual addictions porn addictions cheating whether it's lies deceit whether it's any of the negative lower vibrational stuff it could even be something as simple as ghosting and being disrespectful okay it's just toxic because that's toxic to people when when you disrespect them it's to toxic um so 
we got the wild and free wind sprite that wants a new beginning again too. the new moon. The new moon might have something to do with it, but it's a promise, but it basically means a new start or a new. So this person, this fire sign person was unpredictable. Okay. And somewhat toxic in whatever those many different toxic behaviors were and left you in the cold or just you felt like you were on your own in the situation in some way, shape, or form. They just weren't there for you, okay? It could be an air sign person, too, with that wild and free wind sprite, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Somebody that's just hard to tie down, hard to, to, to land, uh, difficult to figure out, unpredictable. So, I got too many on that. Hang on, let me do this again. Let me get one more clarifying round here. Tell it the king of water. Can you tell me about the emperor, empress? All right, so we got Lisa of the Shadows, which is uncovering subconscious behavioral patterns, situations, realizations of things that maybe you sabotaged yourself with or how you stabbed yourself in the foot is what this is. It's also overcoming addictions and healing bad habits and issues. So it's basically illumination as well. It can be considered similar to the moon card or something, but it's more than that. But illumination and realizations of, of things that have been toxic or unhealthy in some way, shape, or form. And I feel like that's what's happening here with this, with this uh, devil in reverse or temptation in reverse. So on this water sign person, king of water that you've been in your head about and trying to figure out. And they've been reviewing and now they have a new perspective. They've been indecisive and wishy-washy, okay? Maybe you were in a, they, they wanted you, then they didn't want you, then you'd go forward and they wouldn't, whatever it was, this is indecisive, back and forth, wishy-washy, okay? But it's also in the reverse or in the, on the other side, making a decision. And, and this is what I see happening here, is that this is um, the card of more serious, pragmatic, laying down roots, kind of just doing the right thing card. So here we have a wishy-washy person who was indecisive and difficult. It could be the same person here, just so you guys know, this wild and free wind sprite with toxic behaviors. Um, but this is on a fire sign person, so we're just going to go with that for right now. This water sign person was wishy-washy, indecisive. You couldn't pin them down. Now they have a new perspective, okay, due to going through everything again, okay, being in their head being in their head thinking about things with time lapses, going over everything. They have a new perspective and they're made a decision to be more grounded, okay? That's what we got from that. And they very well could be, since the general overview cars, uncovering shadow, how they've been sabotaging themselves. They could be going through a transit that makes them realize these things. Um, whatever it is, because I do see you guys being in your head about it and this other person being in their head about it as well, okay? And for a lot of you, you got a new soulmate, perfect twin flame person coming in if this does not resonate with you. And even if this does and you want to leave this person in the past, you got somebody else coming in. But if this is somebody that's important to you, yep, we got the retriever, which is retrieving what you thought was lost, okay? And that is on this heartbreak card. It's also a card of loyalty, so this is definitely about what you thought was lost is coming back, okay? And it's going to come back suddenly and changed.
And then on this queen of water, which could be this king of water, it could be the same thing for the ma masculine and feminines, whatever. Um, sun, moon, or rising. Remember, you have to know their birth time. That's gonna come, that wants to come back as an open book. There's a strong spiritual connection with them, unity. Okay, and this is very strong spiritual connection that's going to restart back up. And they're going to come back being more open and they want to start over with you. And they were somebody that left that's coming back, okay? And cross watchers, this very well could be your Sagittarius that wants to do this with you. Because we got the unfoldment of it coming in pretty quickly with this as a triumph and them coming in really quickly. Okay, so... On this wild and free wind sprite and this queen of fire, which could be a king of fire, fire sign person, this could be you, that is letting go of negative behavioral patterns, okay? Letting go of it or you realized it and you let go of this person and the situation, okay? This is the card of fake fears and... It's like when you feel like unrealistic fears, anxieties, and worries, okay? So some of, in other words, and it could also be caution. And I feel like in this case, it was being caution, having caution with this person that was, that has toxic behaviors. They were all over the place, okay? They were definitely wild and free. They felt this person left you in the cold, okay? They want to start over again with you, okay? But this is the card of being cautious, okay? And checking to see if your fears are real or unreal. Um, and I feel like, in, in a way, for some of you, this fire sign person had a lot of fears and anxieties about you that weren't real. And that's why they were acting inconsistent and why they were behaving. It was like... They thought you were one way that you weren't, or they were afraid, or they were afraid of the connection, and there was some sort of unrealistic fear attached to them. And that's why they were behaving in that, in the way that they were, running from you, it looks like. And they want to come back too. So you have a fire sign and a water sign. See which one um, applies to you, because this could be for multiples of you. Which situation? Um, because it's a general reading and it's for a lot of you. You guys are all involved with different people. But nonetheless, I see some of you met your soulmate, your perfect match. Others of you are going to meet this person. If you left this toxic person behind or they left you, whatever happened, because we got the fairy godmother, which is about helpful lessons and bringing dreams and wishes come, coming true on the, on the as above, so below, indicating the universe has brought this person in for you that is a spiritual connection. And I mean, look at this. It's the Empress and the Emperor. I mean, it, there's, this is a very powerful connection. And it's going to be showing up in January because that's when it's emerging. And it's going to be something that you are going to be like, wee hoo, I am so in love. It's like the perfect, unbelievable match here. So all is good regardless. If you want to take either of these people back, those of you that were in love with this indecisive, wishy-washy person, they seem to be stabilizing here, and they want to come back. They've been thinking a lot about you, or you've been thinking about them, vice versa, whatever. It doesn't matter because if you don't want them back, they want you back. If they want you back, you want them back. It's something like that going on there, okay? But you have a lot of people here, so pick which one is yours. Um... We have a water sign person here that is a spiritual connection that wants to come and be an open book with you about everything and start over and they want to come back. And the same thing over here is whatever was the heartbreak for a lot of you that you lost this water sign person or a fire sign person um, or an air sign person, what I'm seeing, there's a change that went on and you are actually, what's lost is coming back in lightning speed. So... Yeah, you guys have been in your head a lot and this other person has been in their head a lot and there's been a lot of review of stuff. And this one person seemed to have some irrational fears and anxiety, worries about the connection, the fire sign person or the air sign person is what I'm seeing from here, that had some toxic behaviors. They're letting go of that. They left you in the cold or you left them in the cold. They're letting go of that and they want 
to come back as well. So you guys are going to have a lot of choices in January. What will you do? What will you do? I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm going to tell you what options you're going to have and what's going on. And then you can be the deciding factor on that because I'm not involved in these situations personally. So, but what I see is I do see changes being made and realizations being made. So, and that happens all the time. Saturn transits, Pluto transits can definitely change people. <laughs> Wake them up, change them. Um, I don't know if they're going through these, but it looks like it. So nonetheless, you guys, those of you that are just over the other situations and ready to move on, wow, you got some divine connection coming in for you. So I am so happy to deliver these messages to you. I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like your own personal reading, you can visit my site at www.illumastrology.com. Lots of love to you guys. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy New Year. Wishing you an awesome 2020. I'll see you guys soon.